Caught on camera, a violent and frightening scene played out inside a South Florida convenience store. A man held up two people at gunpoint while demanding money. CBS 4's Peter Dench is live outside the Sunoco gas station where this happened. And Peter, I understand you spoke to one of the victims. How's he doing? Well, Elliot, he's doing remarkably well despite the scare. The robber stormed in here and held a gun to his head. The images that you'll see in this surveillance tape are very clear. Now, it happened in broad daylight some two Saturdays ago, and the gunman was, get this, a regular customer. He said, Papi, Papi, say, Papi, no. They still take no money in my pocket. So I don't worry about it. So when he put them, they go to the owner. The owner gave me the 66 year old clerk Ernesto Rivera vividly remembers what happened when this robber enters his convenience store 1 30 in the afternoon two Saturdays ago. He was alone with the owner. So the guy go to the back, but I see his tape. Police say it all started when this robber returns from the back of the store at Southwest 137th Avenue at 268th Street. He has some dish soap and then asks for a T-shirt from behind the counter. Then he grabs Rivera by the neck and points his gun at him and the owner, seven-year-old Iqbal Mohammed, and demands he open the register. He take it out and put it to the owner, so the owner give you the money. Rivera, whose nickname is Flacco, shows us what happened. He just put me the gun over here. He put the gun there. Yeah. Were you scared? Mm, no, really. You weren't scared. What did you think when he did this? I don't think it's nothing because that was so fast. The robber actually lingers for almost half a minute, demanding that Muhammad open the register. He takes off with $150, a dish soap, and the T-shirt. Police say the suspect who demands all of the store's money is a regular customer. Look like my high like this, uh -huh. a little bit more dark, um, a little bit. Despite this frightening experience, Rivera is not giving up this job. You gonna go back there to the store? Yeah, Do you no, work? I stay working. Yeah. The time can you gotta pay the ring. And Ernesto Rivera, who needs to pay his rent, says he's worked here for 15 years and says this has never happened here before. Now, I did speak with the owner, Iqbal Mohammed, and he said that the robber actually called him by his first name, Iqbal. Despite that, he does not know his name. He believes he lives nearby. If you can help, call Miami-Dade Crime Stoppers at 305-471-TIPS. We're live in Naranja, Peter Dench, CBS 4 News. Elliot? Peter, thanks a lot.